Hello everybody, this is Baniac for Bricks. I'm here today with one of the many bonus value packs from LEGO. This is what they did with some of the themes in the 90s and a little bit in the 80s I believe, in which they would take two different themes or more and put little sets together and have them as one sellable product. So that you had the experience of multiple themes at one time or you have one theme with a bunch of small sets to easily build and you know play with so with this one we have a royal knight's catapult and we have a spireous spaceship neither of them have their own official names and not even their own set numbers the set itself has the same number uh for both models so what we have in here the spireous figure is seated back there he's actually a pretty common one i mean both of the spireous figures as far as the minifigure human-like ones are pretty easy to come by and not too expensive online nowadays but they do have some pretty nice torso printing on them i think they're a little bit underrated because it's interesting how you can take red blue and black and make something interesting out of it especially when the main colors for spireous are red blue and black but blue being more of an accent as you can see on there but here we have a look at the royal knight in this set he actually has the same face as the later western sheriff at least that's how i best remember him and it's a very cool looking face also nice printing on the torso legs not really any printing and nothing on the back of either of them so both of these sets really work independently. I mean, they do show in the instructions you could combine them. Uh, it just shows one picture on the back of the instructions that has this really goofy little model for the Spireus astronaut, apparently, where it looks like some dragon or horse with wings, you know, with uh, wagon wheels. It's, it's a pretty interesting thing they put together with both models. The instruction book has both of the instructions for those uh, for those sets in there and this is you know they're actually pretty simple as far as sets go they're not too hard to build this one has the older you know fork like prongs on the hinge in the back for the for the bucket you actually do get two rock like pieces you know just one by two bricks you can use to launch each of these so it's a nice little function according to brickopedia.com this is the only siege vehicle that the royal knights have and i'd like to see if that's actually true let me know in the comments below if you recall any other ones um as well as with that you know you have the other spear you can fit on here you also have another place for your shield so this actually has more weaponry than the guy can actually hold you also have this i think it's supposed to be the break so that you can just have it standing still when you're launching the catapult and it'll give a lot more attention to the you know the arm of it and then you can just lift this up and roll it along now as far as the spireus vehicle there's more to it than meets the eye because it looks small it looks compact it does have some neat details on it i definitely love i love that engine piece because of lego racers you see the little engine piece in the middle there but what you can do with this one the guy seats mainly in the back and he has this little area for his controls or imitation controls really just the printed tiles is the, the closest thing but what he can do is he can unfold these wings on either side and now it turns into another type of spaceship or at least a different mode for flying the spaceship so it's actually pretty cool like that it does leave it a little bit open-ended on the front but it actually looks cool with those little green bits of the trans green bits on the sides just to work as like extra boosters and to have like this large wing look to it. And it reminds me a little bit of one of the Mars mission sets, the ETX Alien Strike, because it has a similar function where the wings can fold out, but it can also condense to a more rounded vehicle. So these are nice as a little bonus pack, you know, the little value pack for introducing two themes at once and honestly yeah they're, they're really simple as far as builds nowadays not really much for interesting parts um the original retail price for this was eight dollars and that's actually not too bad considering the amount of figures and pieces you get for that price i mean yes it was a different time for you know the value of the dollar but 
it still sounds pretty good to nowadays. I remember getting this rather cheaply on eBay, so it was worth it. And I definitely like collecting some of the figures here. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You can check out more space and castle reviews on my channel. I haven't really done many others in Royal Knights or Spireus other than this set. So maybe in the future I'll get back into this theme and collect more of the different figs and maybe the different sets. We'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. You can check out more on Brickset.com or Facebook.com with my user Maniac for Bricks.